All right. If you wish to ask DJ a question, please use that raise your hand feature. And again, thank you, Greg and Brendan, for joining us on today's post-game media session. DJ, let's talk about your performance, especially in that third period. I saw you have a nice conversation with Iowa's Joseph Cramarosa and a point in the game where you're trying to maybe switch momentum around, and then you probably have one of the best ways to turn that momentum with a big-time goal. Walk us through that sequence for you and overall that third period for the Ice Hogs down Italian and being able to fight back. Yeah, I think uh, kind of going in the third, we, uh, we 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 talked a lot in the locker room about just you know sticking to our identity and uh, just being relentless, right? Down three two, nothing to lose. Um, you know, last night I think we played a great game. Um, kind of let off that in the second period after the first tonight, and uh, we just want to get back to it. So, um, you know, I was playing with uh, Twisty and Q there, and you know they were puck was just cycling around, uh, and NT made a great play back door to me, and I was just fortunate enough to be able to to, to put it home. Twisty for Mackenzie Entwistle. I like that nickname. That's a good one. <laughs> well, how about your game? You jump back in the lineup. You jumped back in yesterday. You get the uh, victory, help the Ice Hogs on to victory there. You play again today, your first game since February 9th against the Chicago Wolves. How are you feeling uh, coming back from that rehab and, and getting back into the game swing and then helping out immediately? Yeah. Um, you know, I had a great rehab with, uh, with John and, uh, you know, the whole training staff, you know, KD, they all helped me get back and, uh, you know, can't thank them enough, obviously, but uh, it was a long road. I mean, three weeks is a long time to be out. And, you know, yesterday I, I felt like I had a lot of good energy and, um, you know, kind of brought my game and tonight, uh, you know, I, th I think I got uh, rewarded a little bit for that. And, um, you know, it's just great to be back and with the boys and, not, um, you know, just being able to compete each night and, uh, you know, pick up four points in the weekend is a, is a great feeling. Since the start of the season, you've been with this team from the very beginning. How do you feel like the team has progressed, have grown? Because it seems like wins like this with contributions from yourself and a lot of the young guys, Altimer mocking with the two goals, Salupa with the big game yesterday. It feels like the Ice Dogs are starting to kind of put it together, figure it out. The new guys are starting to feel more comfortable. How are you assessing it and from your vantage point in that locker room? Yeah, no, I think, uh, you know, especially this week, I think we, uh, uh, in a sense, we kind of – kind of came together and you know after after a tough loss on Wednesday and just said hey like we got to work a lot harder and and be a lot harder and be a lot more detailed to, to to have success in this league and um I think you know these last two games are indicative of the work that we put in this week in practice um and you know I was I you know I think um you know myself and the, and the boys we just uh we're just looking to find ways to, to win hockey games at this point and, um, you know, whatever, whatever it takes. So, um, you know, obviously it was good to get four points this weekend and we're just looking to continue to keep building off that. Greg Boyson, your line is active, sir. Hey DJ, you had a little bit of bad puck luck out there today. It kind of rolled up on you twice, caused you to, to, to miss that, that scoring chance. And then, the delay of game at the end there, but uh, kind of kind of talk about getting redemption with that goal, how that felt, and then how huge was that, you know, the, the PK stepping up and, and helping you out there at the end? Yeah, um, obviously there at the end, it was just the puck just kind of rolled up on me. It was just a bit of an kind of an unfortunate break, but, you know, can't, uh, you know, the boys just did a fantastic job, uh, you know, killing that penalty off, Franny, Mitchy, Twisty, just all doing a great job, blocking shots. Um, and, you know, that's, that's part of being a team, right? You know, I, I unfortunately make a, make a, a pretty costly mistake and, and they found a way to dig me out and bail me out. So, um, you know, I think that's, uh, that's something we need more of. And, you know, I was thankful tonight that they, they did that for me and hopefully, you know, down the road, I can, uh, you know, do that for another guy. So it was great. Thank you. Brandon Kane, your line is active. DJ, you played against uh, Chad Yetman and Alec Regula uh, the past two years, I guess, in the OHL and the, in the Western Conference. What's it like being teammates with them now? And have you learned anything about them that you didn't know previously? Yeah, so so Chad is actually my my roommate for this year. And uh, in the summers, I, I, I skate with uh, uh, regs. So we know each other pretty well. And um, you know, it was always a, always a great battle when we got to play each other in, in the OHL and now having them on my team, it's, it's a lot nicer because, you know, they were always top guys on their team. So having to play against them wasn't, uh, wasn't always the most fun, but no, they're, you know, just fantastic guys. And, um, you know, I've, especially Chad has become one of my best friends, you know, this year, um, just living with them and, you know, kind of, kind of going through it together. Right. So, 
Um, it's been great getting to know those guys and um, yeah, it's been awesome. Thanks. Excellent. DJ, thank you so much. That'll conclude.